Hey everybody, I'm coming at you today with a super quick tutorial about how you can make your After Effects animation smoother and a little bit more cartoon-like and, a little bit to, and uh, add more life to them. So I uh, won't spend any more time introducing it, let's go ahead and get started. So you can do this effect for, um, it's kind of a bounce effect, you can do it for any of the attributes and After Effects which are, you know, rotation, scale, position, Anything like that, you can uh, use this effect to um, to make the animation a little bit smoother. And let's see how it looks when you're finished. Okay, so it's kind of a bounce effect, and all you have to do is take your starting position, and that's where you want to end up, right? So we're going to anim animate it in. So I'm going to make a keyframe and drag the starting position towards the end, and then you want to a keyframe where you want it to start so with rotation I'm gonna make it so you can't see this picture right when the animation starts so we're gonna bend it all the way back and this is a 3d layer I clicked the 3d cube but for this effect you can also apply it to scale and position and opacity as well um, so anything that you can apply keyframes to you can use this effect on so I'm gonna bend this back so I can't see it right so when the screen starts, I can be able to see it on the screen. It slowly rolls up. Now, in order to give it more personality and have a bounce effect, all I'm going to do is go to my ending keyframe, and then I'm going to add 10 or, you know, add some attributes. So we're going to put 10 right here, and then go command dash, 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 or over, and then we're going to go negative 10. And 10 is just a variable. If you want it to do more pronounced, so do a higher number. If you want to do less pronounced, you do a lower number. But once you apply this, and then we're going to highlight them all and do function F9 for easy ease. And uh, this is just an effect that makes your, um, your keyframe movement a little bit more smooth. Now you can see. And, you know, obviously this is a little bit slow, so we're going to drag all these keyframes towards the front. It'll MA in a little bit faster now. Sweet. And now I think this rotation is a little bit too fast. So we're going to add some space in between these ending keyframes. And voila. As you can see, we've added a bounce. And you can also do this with scale. So we're going to go to this one now, maybe afterwards. And then we're going to scale it. So let's go to zero. And then we're going to go to our end, which is 100. And when you're adjusting scale, you want to make sure your anchor point is where you want it to be. So you can press Y and move around your anchor point wherever you'd like it. I can put it in the center of her nose. Right now I have it in the middle of her chest just so it looks okay when it pops up. But once again, this is where we want it to end, so it's 100. Now we're going to go before it and then do 110. And move a little bit over, but still leaving... The last keyframe being the final value we want the um, layer to end at. And then we're going to go 90. And then you're going to see a little bounce effect. So that was pretty awful. <laughs> so what we can do now is shrink these in a little bit, highlight F9, function F9 for easy ease, and shrink this over more towards the start. So you see now that it has like a nice bouncy effect. You can play with this. I can make this 105 and then 95. Oh, I made all of them 105 by accident. 105. And as you can see, it's more subtle now, and it has a nice little bopping effect. So when I bring it in the whole layer, and once it eventually pops up, whenever it decides to, as you can see, that's when it pops up, right? That's what it's going to look like. 
So I hope this helps. You can add this on any layer. It's super quick and easy effect that makes you significant, that makes your animation significantly more smooth. So I hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, make sure to subscribe to my, uh, to my channel. I have tons of other content similar to this that'll help you while learning After Effects and Premiere. And you can check out my travel videos as well. So I hope you enjoy. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Mm -hmm.